I was just thinking, if you look back to our history, right, it was during the moments of extreme, uh, a lot of times anyway, so there's always exceptions to every rule, but if you look back, for example, uh, in the 1920s in Germany, when there was a lot of extreme uh, duress, uh, economic, um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, downturns and, and everyone was struggling, that's when a fascist took over. Mm. And the same thing happened in Italy. So you're right, when you have moments of, of, of economic upheaval, instead of, there's, you would think in a way people will say, well, we're gonna unite, which they do by the way, because during the Great Depression, a lot of folks actually survived by uniting. Mm. But on a, mac, a mac, so on a micro level, there are a lot of, uh, you know, the divisions that we have kind of bleed bleed out, and people start to to co- uh, cooperate. But on on a on a macro level, on a national level, it really be, becomes dangerous because people kind of revert back to their tribal uh, to their tribal mean. And so, you know, if, if another two thousand and eight happens, uh, God forbid, <laughs> people are going to go back into their defensive postures again. And so uh, the lack of opportunity, the lack of, of, of viability actually increases. So it goes back to what Martin Luther King said a long time ago. You know, what, what good is it if I could drink a milk, at a, uh, milk at, uh, at a milk counter if the milk has poison in it? You know, so the poison that we're drinking is e- economic inequality. If, if we're all being made equal at the baseline of, of being uh, you know, uh, indentured servants. What what good is that equality at that point? So, I you know I, I believe in a lot of people <laughs> that came before me, and you do you too as well. I, I'm sure, although the social issues matter mm-hmm. at the root cause of most of them is economic issues. If we're not addressing the economic imbalances, if we're not addressing the fact that more and more Americans are you know are are becoming dependent. Uh, on government for sustenance, more and more people are live, uh, you know, uh, earning, depending on slave wages, basically, to to make uh, to make it. More and more people, the 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 average savings of Americans is, is effectively zero. Mm-hmm. Uh, these things, they they're like cancers upon a, upon the planet, to be honest, because it's destroying the fabric of of, of our nation, of, of the fabric of, of the community. And so what these political conversations are taken away from is that for the first time in the history of America on a, on a, on a broader uh, trend, when you uh, assess the a trend line, the first time in, in the history of America, this generation is gonna be do, doing worse off than the previous generation. Uh, the income uh, uh, power, the earning power, uh, uh, for the first time after 2008 actually went backwards. So we've, we've hit, economically, we, the middle class, the working class, and of course the poor have hit the apex. We're going downwards, and if we don't kind of pause and pay attention to the this pyramid scheme that's taking transferring tens of billions of dollars from the from the bottom ninety percent of Americans into the pockets of the the top one percent, everything else becomes inconsequential. It's like we're fighting in a pot of water that's boiling, and we're fighting about what type of pot that we we're in when we should be focused on the fact that water's boiling us. And so, yeah. you know, the the, the 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 political conversation, I believe on purpose is geared towards distracting us from everything, you know, focusing our eyes on everything else except the economy. And, you know, I forgot yeah. who said this, but they somebody once said that, you know, who who's your master when you can't talk about? Whatever you can't talk about, that's your master. So when these politicians, when these economists, when uh, these pundits, all of them go on TV and they focus on everything else other than the fact that the the the, the America has been uh, been turned into a nation, uh, you know, a, a tale of two cities. You have the haves that that live lives of Oculus. The rest of us are struggling. If they're not talking about that. That's because their master is paying them. So the the we need to focus on these things. And we also, in the process, realize that we're all in, in, the, in the boat together. And the only way that we could have a shot of, of repelling this level of, uh, of, of malfeasance is if we say, no, we're, we're all in this together and we're gonna work towards a, a, a more equitable system. 
But if we keep fighting about other issues and, and realizing that we're not um, all being, uh, you know, all, all uh, suffering from the same root cause, then uh, this is going to keep getting worse. And and at that point, it's inconsequential. Everyone's going to get it. Everyone's going to. We might all have different protests and different marches, but we're, we're protesting and marching about the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm hoping that we wake up to that fact at some point. Uh-huh.